You want a proof of the fractal nature of space? People take that for granted. People come out of other people. It's an amazing thing. And you can see the fractal length of all the mutters, you know, through space time. I mean, it's freaky. People coming out of other people. I mean, it's pretty obvious it's a fractal structure. And so the way it happens, even the woman's womb, well, the first cell divides into two, and then the two into four. And when they do four, they arrange into a tetrahedral array. And then these four divides into four again, uh, into, into two each, uh, making eight, and those eight arrange in a star tetrahedron array. In all of this, you're starting to see, in any case, that this very fundamental geometry is actually how you emerge into this world. You went through that structure in order to get here, and you went through it through the molecular interactions of water. Our cells, well, there's a strand of code inside the nuclear cell that we call the DNA code. Uh, an interesting thing, because if we look at the dynamics of that code, it has that spiral kind of torque feel look to it. Uh, and, and you know, there is a lot of code in your body for you to be here. The complexity is outrageous. Uh, I mean, seriously outrageous. If you take the, the DNA that's in your body, in each cell, there's approximately six feet of DNA. And if you put all these strands of DNA end to end, you could wrap it around the world five million times around the world, four to five million times around the world. That is inside your body right now for you to be able to function is happening because there's a fundamental codonic interaction of the uh, proteins that permits it. And guess what? that code is based on, well, the codon structure of DNA are based on the uh, 64 codon possibilities of combination. So then we have a direct link here between the space-time information, the space-time torque, and the way DNA is. Like DNA is like the transducer from space-time information moving through into the world and gathering information. You're like a probe for space-time looking back at itself from the outside and gathering information about its existence. <laughs> We're starting to see the relationship between the space-time structure and the biology and how biology moves through things. When they looked that far, they expected that things would be quite chaotic and not organized and so on. And instead, they found the exact contrary. These very large scale structure organizes in octahedrons and, um, and tetrahedrons array.